The trend of drinking less alcohol is gaining momentum with Gen Z leading the way. I'm Hannah McElroy here in the Old Market learning more about why that is and what they're drinking instead. Who didn't like hangovers? The Cleveland Clinic found education and health to be at the forefront of this trend. They say alcohol is seen as a toxin and doesn't subscribe to the clean living lifestyle adopted by many young adults. I've heard a lot of people in the non-alcoholic sector talk about how Gen Z sees alcohol like my generation, I'm a millennial, um, sees cigarettes. Other neighbors like Christian Cervantes made the decision after seeing his father struggle. I could take myself for example. My dad was like a really bad alcoholic when I was younger. He had to go, he had three DUIs, he went to prison for a while. And the, uh, Generation Z, we kind of see as like, I don't want to go to that. As the new generation searches for healthier alternatives, another industry is growing. IWSR market research found the low to no alcohol industry was worth $11 billion in 2022 and expected to grow by 7% in the next four years. Maya Mata has been sober for five years and says she needed a creative outlet and joined this movement by creating dry spokes, an alcohol free bar. We have people who um, have been sober for 20 plus years and we have people who we're sober just for the night, um, which is kind of a, a fun experience for us. Um, but every single time someone comes in, they feel like they're not missing out by being in our space. They can still have something that tastes good, tastes adult, um, and then go home and drive safe. Neighbors told us that they like going to venues like Dry Spokes because they don't want to miss out on social events. I'm Hannah McElroy, your Old Market Neighborhood Reporter.